Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a big warm welcome. Stick around, subscribe, join in with the Cockney Craft fam. So, welcome back. Like I said, I'm just going to be working on some bits of ephemera today um, for my bee journals. And, um, yeah, I'm just finishing up. I was going to um, sit and sew signatures in, but I've got an empty house, so I thought, crack on and film, um, just making the last of the ephemera, and then I can sit doing something like that, peacefully, when everyone's back and the house is all like loads of noise, it don't matter, because I'm only going to be sitting there doing my own thing, but yeah, but I didn't want it to be loads of noise when I film, so I thought, right, I'll do this now. So... I've got out my new gadgety thing that does all the different cuts, including torn, and I'm just going to cut this out because I've got this, and I thought this will probably, if I cut round there, um, will probably look really cool on that. I think it'll probably fit. If it don't, I'll just use it somewhere else. But um, yeah, I thought I'd do it. So I've got out my little thing. And I could have done it with my tail ruler, but it's a new gadget. <laughs> you do just want to use them, don't you, if you get something new. Plus, the other thing is um, it's thicker. It's not like regular copy paper. So, you have to, like, sort of be more careful. But then, when you're sort of using tail ruler, but that just slices like butter. And, um, yeah. At the minute, I'm loving it. With our little torn edges, I just think it's really cute. I am. Um, I didn't think it was going to be any good, to be honest, when I got it. I am, um, but I still got it because <laughs> I was like twelve different cutting settings. But it's actually. Oh, you have to put that to the top each time. Um, it's actually eleven because the twelfth setting is a it's is that it um scores you know which is still pretty cool for something that just looks like your regular rotary cutter so yeah i like it i think it's really cool and i can see that these ain't straight but i didn't want them to be oh it wasn't um I weren't trying to get them straight, I just want it sort of, so that it does look a bit like it's been torn. I might take a bit more off of the top actually, just because I don't want it filling up the whole of that yellow um, piece of paper. Oh, what do you call it? It's not, it's a piece of a file folder, isn't it? Yeah, right. I like that, I think that's really cool. Right, so we pop it down here. And... Um, yeah, like I said, could have been done with terrible love, but I just like it. It's something different, and yeah, you get a bit of a different edge. So, again, it's really nice when you can sort of have all different kinds of looks going throughout, whether you're tearing by hand, using a tear ruler, or using something like this you'll get different results, won't you, with the different method that you try. And I like, in a journal, lots of different results, like, of, like to look at, to feel, um, yeah, just all over. So, yeah, I like that, like that, and yeah, and go down, yeah. Yeah, I really am happy with that. I'm just going to crack on, stick that down right now. And, yeah, then think about what I want to do next with it, or whether to just leave it and it'll be like a journaling card. Because, um, yeah, this is the shinier side, and that side is just plain buff. No, well, not buff, but, yeah, just... Not that this front side's got a, like, high shine, but, yeah, the back is more matte to write on that's what i was looking for the word i was looking for matte not buff 
I was in the right ballpark with four letters. <laughs> but yeah, that was as close as I was. <laughs> right. Yeah, I really like that. It's cool. And I'm going to go around the edges, but I'm not going to use the yellow. I'm going to use my wild honey. It's like an orangey kind of colour. But not as bright as... Um, what's the other orange I've got? Spiced marmalade. Yeah, it's not as bright as that, this wild honey. It, um, yeah, it just is lovely for bee related stuff. I really like how it, um, how it looks. It's not half as bright as what it looks like there, is it? So, that could just be a journaling card as it is. I could punch a hole, we could set an eye lit. And then this can slot in with this poking out of the journal. I think that's a plan that we've got to see through. Right, so. Just put it there. And that's it. Oh, sorry for all the rattling. But, yeah, that's it. And so... How are you all? Hope you're all doing well and everything's going good for you. I am feeling quite a bit better, actually. feel really good today, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get a lot done. Right, so we want our jump rings. I need some tools and I also need to think what I want dangling from here so I'll grab a couple of bits right so I've gathered um, I've got a little bit of chain I've got my tools um, I think from the positioning of the eyelet you're going to need a big ish jump in that might do it I might go the whole hog with the biggest no I think this one let's see Obviously that way it's fine. And I might go with the biggest actually, and then it's got much more free free movement than if I went with the second biggest one. But um, I've got a bit of gold chain here, and I know I'm putting on a silver jump ring and that, but it really don't matter. Um, I'm just using up scraps, you know. Um, right, let's close that. So, that's much, yeah. See, it's got free movement, whatever way it's positioned in the journal or when it's being written on. And now, I want a couple of little charms to hang. And from our um, chain, so... We've got, we've got a little bee there. I think I might grab one of my bigger bees that I got from Sue. A tree might be nice. Oh, a leaf. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a leaf. And, oops. And, let's have a look in here. Um... Mm. And I've got that one, or oh, that one. Now, I do love this one, um, which I was drawn to immediately, but I'm thinking I want this one, because I want this one to hang from um, one of the tabs that are permanently in the signature, one of the little page tabs. Um, oh, dear me, I keep... <laughs> I, I thought, what's that bell? It's me. <laughs> Something like this might be nice. I think I'm going to use one of them as well. And I'm going to grab... Grab myself a bigger B. Which I'm only here. Right, I've grabbed myself a B. Also grab these so I can... Let's see... So I 
I can be dangling one of these, I could hang that from that bit. Or just go with a flat headed pin. And yeah, and then that can dangle from something else. Right. So we need to sorry I'm talking with a pin in my mouth. <laughs> need to cut that down and please when you do this always hold it really away from yourself and pointing downwards because these bits can fly off so I always point the end that I'm cutting right at my desk so that that's where it's going to fly to and not up into my eye because when I first ever started playing around making jewellery and that for the first ever time ages going way back but yeah i had a really near miss <laughs> with something just zooming past my face and i thought oh, could have blinded me so yeah i do try and remember to be careful <laughs> right and we don't need like big ones for this now We just need to right, just get them put them on right. So I'm going to do one on camera and then I'll pause. So I'm think I'm going to have the B at the very bottom because um, yeah, otherwise it's a bit like watching paint dry, isn't it? If I'm not actually doing anything other than just connecting charms. So right, that one's there, and I'll be back in a sec. Right, so these are all in place now. The very last one, which was this one, I attached to the main jump ring itself. And then the other three are hanging from there all nicely. So that piece is another piece done, which is always good. Right. And so actually, it's not done. <laughs> I was just reaching back across. I wanted to put a bit of this not a lot just a little bit because I've cut out from well from I've cut out this piece I did have um, another little bit um, I'm not sure where it is so I'll just use this piece and I'm just A little bit here and a little bit there right that piece there don't look right so I'm just going to get in pop that bit and yeah make them on maybe right I kind of like that um, and if I take off a couple of these bits up here Oh, and that, that random bit sticking out on its own that I forgot. Right. And then that bit can go up there like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, the hardest bit will be gluing it. <laughs> but I'm sure I'm going to get there, are not I? Right, let's do that bit. Uh, oh. No, do not stick to me, please. Right, that's fine. I'm going to be so sticky. Right, I've got glue stick on my fingers, so I'll put a little bit of that. <laughs> and then, right, I've got to remember to pause with this hand so that I can <laughs> quickly go and wash my hands, but not get the camera all stuck up to the eyeballs because yeah that's not good right oh right i'm not going to pick it up i'm going to pause and be right back right so i'm all clean i'm not going to touch those corners because they need to dry off um and i really like the charm so it can sit i could put this near the top and it's poking out the top of the book slide it in so it's coming out at the side and bottom so yeah i really like that not going to touch it just going to stick it to one side where I won't forget 
a nice and close on top <laughs> and get that all sticky because yeah that's not where we want to go right so i want to do a couple of tags now with tracing paper pockets i know i've done that before but um it's not a tutorial is it it's just like i'm just crafting so we all do things we've done a million times and yeah i really like those and so i'm going to do a couple of them for this journal right now i grabbed out my template because i wanted to like that add their pockets are going to be quite snug and um yeah i wanted two on a page like that also cut another one for my mini um B journal and this is the page size and so I want like one central one so that one's like a bit dumpier but I think it's a little bit shorter yeah it's just a, a meal or so shorter but it's um yeah a little bit dumpier but because it's for a completely different shape but we're working on these ones right now and so now I know that they're going to fit nicely together, <laughs> whatever way we want them, we can start making them look like tags. And then um, we'll have all the fun of decorating them, making the pockets. Um, yeah, and just making them look lovely. Because um, I really do like that in journal, in some journals, like doing a vellum or a tracing paper pocket and they don't need a lot of decorating to look really like elegant and that, so yeah, I really like that. And um, what was the other thing I want to do? I'll, I was going to make, yeah, one or two large tags for our big pockets but yeah I don't know whether I'll get around to that or not I think I'll be quite content to get this little bit done and I'm thinking should I back them I'm thinking I might want to so I've still got a scrap of the bit I was using yesterday so what I think I'm gonna take the brighter side and lose that and use the more subtle yellow of the reverse as my front because um, it doesn't really matter but yeah I think I want the muted lemon this time because I used the bright side up on the little journaling card didn't I and I don't want everything looking the same when there's so many different possibilities, isn't there? We don't have to have anything the same. So, yeah, I just want to get this glued. Ah, oh, I've, I've stuck it in a bit that already had glue. It doesn't matter, though, because these are going to be covered quite a fair bit. And I'm going to turn that over so I don't stick anything else to it. And I was just looking for a bone folder. I've obviously moved it. I was looking for the little one when I had out. I'll probably put it back and forgotten. <laughs> right. So we'll cut these out and then yeah look you can see I've got glue down there but it's no dramas because I have plans for these little ones. I've got papers down by me that I want to use. Really cut that wonky. I'll have to just, I'll have to take the top off with the cutter a little bit from that side. And I'll have to, oh, from this one, I'll have to do it on the other one now, so that they're the same. Right. Um, well, it might not notice too, no, it does. It notices to me too much. Right. I just want it to be, my scissors to be following the line of the tag, but, um, yeah, I, I end up cutting into it a little bit. But yeah, it's no dramas. We can sort that out. Right. 
so it's got both our tags and that it's going to take a tiny sliver off of the top oops I'm knocking everything over just worry about that a little bit of the paper I got backed it with that's better right let's see if there's loads of difference no not really <laughs> the other one must have been longer to start with I think because it really doesn't look like there's any difference at all now right just getting rid of these and we'll link round and then grab our other papers because I've got some cool ones down by my side so we'll have a little pick of what we want and yeah this is these journals are pretty much finished up now just doing a couple of like these little bits and bobs to put in as finishing touches but yeah I am um, I wanted to have the journal together but um, I thought I've got to make the most of the house being empty you know like really that is um, a rare occurrence in my house but what it is like so no no form I know that no four of my kids are gonna be turning up here today um because it's their dad's birthday so we're all over there right so I want to use this it's got little writing on like be happy be beautiful honey and it's got all the little bees and um yeah there's similar little words to what I chose to put on the sheet for the kit, the B kit, the um, I wrote out, oh well, I typed up all little words, and yeah, I don't know what difference it'll make if I go up, but I don't want to chance it and wreck my little bit of paper. Um, <laughs> yeah, I saw this in um, news agency the other day, um, magazine with um, making a B card, and so I thought, ah. Oh, It'll have bits of ephemera that I might <laughs> that I might be able to use. So I grabbed it, brought it home. That was on the same day that, um, like just a few days ago, when Jamie took me to Lidl. Right, and so yeah, we popped in. Um, had to pop in the news agents, and yeah, I um, was like, oh, I need that as well. <laughs> because he was in there posting something but um yeah then all of a sudden i'm delaying i'm delaying the situation because yeah i wanted a magazine with these little bits of paper and there's some um, there's a little little bits of ephemera nothing much but i thought oh i want that right let's see Oh, and I haven't put it up. And yeah, I just want. Don't want them exactly the same. Um, it's annoying with this thing that the um, the bit don't come up. Oh, now I've not pu pushed that up. I'd like it, or would have liked it if this moved unless it does move and i just haven't figured it out because i'm a wally but oh i hope that's not the case um while i've got this out i'm just thinking that from on the pockets i'm just cutting a couple of different sizes while i've got it up on the desk i might as well in it and then right back here I don't the other one a bit smaller like that. Yep, I'm liking that. Might need to ink around everything. So I'm going to do that and then be right back. Right. 
I've all we've all inked and everything. I'm thinking I might want a bit of that going up there, just straight up with maybe my piece there to start with. Yep, I'm liking that. So I'm just gonna jump right in with the glue. And yeah, oh I forgot to tell you, right, I mentioned it last video and then forgot about it <laughs> until now. Doing a giveaway, I'm doing a giveaway, right, um, next week on Thursday the 30th of July, sorry, I was just looking at my um, calendar next to me to check that I tell you the right one, yeah, Thursday the 30th of July is International Day of Friendship and that's kind of just hearing the words like the name International Day of Friendship and if there's a day in the world that um, speaks to me about my YouTube experience that I've had on my YouTube journey that I'm having, not had, I'm having this incredible journey and life experience. If there's one thing that sort of resonates with me so much, it's the friendship that I have made. And especially again, where it's the International Day of Friendship, because I've made friends with people from all over the world, literally from all over the world. And I would never, ever in my wildest dreams thought that it was possible that, yeah, I thought maybe I might end up getting to know a person or a person or two. But I've made loads of friends with people, literally, and the whole world as is full of wonderful people and let me tell you this because I've been around <laughs> I've, I've known people in all sorts of different roles like I've had different jobs over the years met people from different walks of life and let me tell you most of the wonderful people are here in this community being lovely you know like it it's it's overwhelming how many wonderful, wonderful people there are that, and we all come together and meeting each other virtually, you know, over the internet and specifically on YouTube and the like. And yeah, it's it's incredible, really, really incredible. So when I saw when I got when I got my diary, new one. Um, at the end of last year, like Christmas, I was looking through and that so that I could fill in the different dates that are important, birthdays and things like that. And then when I saw that there was an International Day of Friendship, I thought, I've got to celebrate it. I have got to because I... It's something that needs celebrating for me, the fact that I have made so many friends, the fact that you are all absolutely wonderful people and you've all got your own unique stories and situations in life. Some of you have been through like some really tough experiences and that and you've not only shown me friendship, some of you have shown me strength and courage and things like that. Things that make me want to be better, things that make me want to be the best that I can, you know, with this one chance that I'm having, that I'm experiencing of life, you know, like, yeah, there may be other lives and things, but no one knows for definite, you have to just believe what you believe and that, but in this life, it's rolling past... <laughs> 
<laughs> really quickly, faster than it, it did when you were younger, well, when I was younger, and that, you know. Um, everything seems so long, and then now time just whizzes by and that. And so in this life, I want to like try as hard as I can to do and be better and um yeah just do the best I can and I've learned them kind of things and been shown that you can always do a little more or try a little harder and things I've been shown that from friends and, and that that I've made on here so first day the 30th of July oh by the way I die cut out some little shapes I've got a honey pot here I'm thinking of putting that there like that so yeah I'll just be sticking my little die cuts on while we're chit chatting still so yeah um, first day the 30th of July I will draw the giveaway um, and yeah I'll I'm not sure on what the prize is going to be or how many prizes there are going to be not sure just yet but i won't um there'll be more than one let's say and uh, like definitely more than one and it i'll i won't disappoint you well i'll try not to disappoint you i'm hoping that i'll have something good ready for <laughs> ready for, for next thursday so that i can yeah have just have something to give away so yeah i'm working my little fingers to the bone <laughs> well I'm not I'm just <laughs> I'm just doing what I can but yeah I am um, I'll have something ready for next week and yeah I will draw the giveaway so all you need to do to enter is the usual you need to be over 18 you need to be a subscriber of this channel and you need to like and comment on the video um you can say whatever you want to say you know um i really don't mind i'm trying to think if there's anything specific no just say what you want to say i don't want to make you try and uh, it's not a test you know you've not got to try and think up answers and that so um yeah you say what you want but just yeah do if you could do me the favor of liking and um obviously being a subscriber and yeah just leave a little comment in the description box and yeah bob's your uncle that's it that's all you've got to do and right you know, i'm just pulling this over again because i don't want it all over my fingers this glue i just want to carefully put a bit on even now, right. And yeah, so next Thursday the thirtieth, on the actual day that is International Day of Friendship, I will pick out a couple of winners and tell you what you've won. And yeah, oh, I might do a little sneaky peek um, in between now and Thursday of showing what someone's won but um yeah i might not so, <laughs> so yeah don't um hold your breath just in case i don't show what the price is until thursday but yeah I'm, i may do during the week but yeah that's all you need to do to enter and um if you want to share it on your facebook or instagram then i'd be really happy um if you do that you know so it's up to you guys you don't have to but um oh i think the kids are back from their dads i can hear olivia knocking on the door <laughs> right I'll, I'll be right back right unfortunately i'm gonna have to end it here because um everyone's back everyone's hungry and um <laughs> then it's gonna be too loud unfortunately so i'm just gonna set these eyelids and yeah i'm gonna have to end it here and what was i saying i was telling you about the giveaway so if you could um like and comment on this video 
and um, I will draw the giveaway in a few days time on the 30th of July it's a Thursday I just made that go a bit weird so yeah I'm just gonna leave it now I haven't even put the bits in the tags so we've just got a couple of bits made again oh, I thought I was going to do better this time so yeah I'll just leave it here and um, yeah I'll have to show you the tracing paper pockets that I'm going to make for these two tags at a later date unfortunately but yeah like and subscribe if you want to enter and uh, you're probably already subscribers if you're watching but if you're not subscribe and um yeah i meant to say like and comment if you want to enter and um i'm just trying to pick that out and i will be back with another video very soon probably in the meantime before the giveaway but um yeah i'll tell you bit more about it if I can if I've got the prizes ready yet and um yeah thank you for watching I do appreciate every single one of you like I said International Day of Friendship screams to me the like if, if it weren't already a thing I might have started that thing in the future <laughs> my future self might have started International Day of Friendship if it wasn't already a thing because I've got international friends from all over the world and I appreciate every single one of you so that's why I'm doing the giveaway so I'm going to go now to this madhouse because everyone wants feeding it's like feeding time at the zoo in a bit and I'll be back with something else very soon love yes bye for now